I was out there to protect them as well as to protect the property and the people in the property. And I felt so let down. On August 19th, Kim, a security guard who works in the Beltline, says she was doing her morning rounds checking the alleys for any issues. She shared these CCTV images with Global News showing the moments leading up to a violent encounter. A man was sleeping near the loading dock doors, but when asked to move on, Kim says he got aggressive. So I swung around as fast as I could and was out of there. I was running for the door, for the loading dock door, but he caught me beside my own vehicle and then started viciously assaulting me. While she recovers, Kim is raising concerns about the responsibility being put on private security guards when it comes to addiction and mental health. Private security teams and that interaction with CPS is integral to make sure we deliver services to those single individuals that are causing the majority of the challenges that we're seeing downtown. Calgary police say units like the Community Engagement Response Teams, or CERT, do work closely with private security teams. But when asked if more of the responsibility should be on the trained officers, Sergeant Christian Thorpe says he's not sure how more officers would help those working in private security. I think they're more than capable of looking after the people. I mean, that's nothing new going back to loss prevention. Most of our big retail chains use loss prevention officers that are involved up to and including the apprehension of suspects right to the hospital. In the meantime, Kim says she hopes officers are still working to find the suspect that caused her injuries as she navigates her long road to recovery. I wake up very anxious, crying all the time because I'm so scared. Kim has not yet returned to work and the security company has not replied to our request for comment. Michael King, Global News.